I'm right there. That, that's the link Black to the video. Desert is an action-packed role-playing game where you will battle through hordes of enemies fighting the evil lord of capitalism before you realize that your loot scroll has been off the entire time. What? This game is jam-packed with top-tier PvP content. No! Logan True. Paul Crypto Zoo 2.0. I never scammed anyone with this project. And thousands of hours of engaging content. Join me as I walk you through the proudest 60,000 hours I have ever spent. Black Desert, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah. Super true. Very true. As we all know, the best part of any game is the story, and Black Desert has the best one. Not that I would know any of it. I just spam skip whenever someone's trying to talk to me. Perhaps that's why I got cheated on. <laughs> in the far-off world of Los Angeles, where everyone lives in peace and harmony, and the patriarchy has been subverted, the girls do what they do best, which is start a 300 versus 300 catfight over who has the better rack of prime ribs. But their armies boycott them because they're too busy learning about baking pies from their favorite educational cat person. I've never had a cream pie before. This makes the capitalists <laughs> very angry, so they decide the to fight. throw the globe in the Grand Canyon and tell everyone the Earth is more donut-shaped, like your mom. Our hero, John Des. <laughs> Wait, someone someone said that like a long time ago. It's like a baity is a baity thing. Like, do have you ever have a cream cream pie? And and they were like, what a cream pie? Like, no, no, no. I I wonder if they knew. That, that's what I'm wondering. Had a cream pie before. This makes the capitalists very angry, so they decide to throw the globe in the Grand Canyon and tell everyone the Earth is more donut-shaped, like your mom. Our hero, John Desert, is here to save the day after getting off a 300-year bender. He will 1v1 the Dark Lord, Mr. Kim, and make Black Desert great again by reminding us why we play this game in the first place. <laughs> If you ask your average gamer what makes a good game, they will probably say it needs to be fun or it gotta look pretty or maybe it shouldn't have predatory monetization practices that appeal to the male gaze. Wrong. The only thing that matters in gaming is assigning a single number to every player. How to measure your penis size. Welcome to week number four of my 700 gear score series. Frankly, a game where you can't <laughs> it's not. It's not all about having high gear score, okay? It is, we, we have to make videos so people so people know how to also get 700 gear score in in three months 700 gear score series frankly a game where you can't whip out your massive personality and stroke it in the town square is a game that should not be made this number is your gear score and similar to the caste system of medieval europe there are three different levels of gear score 650 and below the lowest tier on our list absolute peons who stack no paper and pull no maidens they have only been running in circles killing monsters for 100 to 200 hours how pathetic the thought that i share this the game of all time with such absolute scum who can't even spend 300 hours grinding to buy one weapon makes me sick to my stomach my one wish is that all such waste of space become lobotomized server i mean i i kind of feel like he's talking about like 300 hours of grind here i i don't even know i i've done like twenty thousand hours of grind so i i don't i don't yeah the new new players have it easy that's for sure to work in the toxic neodymium mines of the future so that us important people can have our clean energy and talk about how great we are for driving our electric cars <laughs> At this gear, you will graduate from doing one damage per hit in PvP to two damage per hit, an impressive 100% increase. Congratulations. You have previously been increasing your gear score by grinding mobs at profitable spots and buying your upgrades from the auction house. It's taken a while, but at least it's guaranteed. Well, to get to the next bracket of 750 and above, you'll have to switch things up a little. You, you, have, to hit, play, you have to play the right class so you can do damage on this guy. You, you're playing a bad class. It, it, your gear score has nothing to do with it. You have to play the right class. Wait, what the fuck is this? They don't even play with artifacts, you know? Uh, of course they're not gonna hit this guy. It's, it's like, they, they have to play with accuracy. And, and, and the right class. I, I guess this is a Nova, but... Um, <clears throat> yeah, man, that, that was when Nova was uh, bad. Of a 100% increase. Congratulations. You have previously been increasing your gear score by grinding mobs at profitable spots and buying your upgrades from the auction house. It's taken a while, but at least it's guaranteed. Well, to get to the next bracket of 750 and above, you'll have to switch things That's up. That's the a big little. Now you will be grinding at spots where you make zero dollars and zero cents. What you are looking for. That, that used to be true. And, and that was one of the bad things about BDO was like, oh, yeah, you've you got to end game now, like 750. You grinded for items that you never needed to have. And, and now you grinded like, you know, places where you, you go back to Orc and grind for way more money per hour. Uh, 
luckily PA and J they they changed this they they changed the approach of this so at least uh, at least nowadays end game is like end game and you, you get you get a little bit of money you you don't have to go back to orc you shouldn't really be a, like you shouldn't really be able to go back to orc but that, that's my opinion for are these base accessories if you're fast you can get one of them every two hours you then hit them together <laughs> and if you're lucky they'll go to plus one now bang yes. that one with another one and yes. hope it goes to plus two yes, repeat plus two. until you reach plus five how hard can no, it be? no 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 no, you no, fail no. no 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 you you make that plus four and you sell that for massive money per hour B. Well, if you fail an upgrade even once, your accessory will blow up and you have to start from scratch. We believe in the one tap, right? One tap, one tap. No, one tap. no, you can use crime stuff. <gasps> also, the chances oh my of God. failure increase exponentially as it upgrades. Oh my God. Sound fun yet? Well, you not only have to do this for one accessory, no, you but have three. to use crime stuff. End game progression. This is genius game design. 10 out of 10. Elden oh Ring. my God. Never heard of her. There is a work around system that allows you to take the spiked shaft of enhancing accessories and put a little bit of lube on. Hey, hey that's the, um, the, that's the uh, Walking Dead. Uh, what, what's, what's her name? Lucille? Uh, that's like the walking, walking Dead weapon? Before you thrust it up your ass. Man, it's getting hot in here. Of course, when all else fails, you can just pay to win. There is a roundabout way to turn the imaginary money on your plastic card of choice into money that you can use to buy gear in game, and it only costs around twenty thousand dollars for each of the thirteen pieces of end game gear. Is that true? The twenty thousand per per slot. Dude, that, that means to my... you will need what a steal tired of all this talk of chasing bigger number to wow the ladies would you rather live out your life skill dream of milking cows on your farm in idaho well guess what you need gear for that and there's leaderboards and bugattis and bigger bugatti that's what i love about this game there's always Wait. someone with more money than you and is taller than you and has a bigger pretzel than you god bless america Classes. There are 26 unique classes, each one of them with two different specs called Awakening and Asleepening. You must be asking yourself, <laughs> how much money are they paying their balancing team to ensure that each of the 50 different... Actually true. Actually, uh, Awakening, you have to always play Awakening way, way more. Uh, I mean, like 99% of the times. And a Succession is just like a... I don't know. AFK, AFK grind, you don't even need to press any buttons specs are fun and respect their players time nothing it's actually important that some classes are wildly overpowered while others are pure garbage stank because as we also very true super true that that's why i said that before like if you want to be able to kill that guy with a 700 gear score you need to play the, the right class we all know not everybody is created equal and the best escapism is the one that reminds you of the cruel world you live in in typical korean fashion the classes are gender locked meaning if you want to play as a brain dead easy class that is absolute cancer in pvp and the most likely to walk onto your rotation you'll have to be an e-girl and if you want to play as a completely fair class that has three times as much health as anyone else and will grab you at every turn you will have to be a furry but where the classes really outshine the competition is the degree of customization this is my favorite part of the game because it allows me to express my artistic side i love art my favorite art subject is anatomy ranger the mandatory first person shooter class to get the best results from this class you will need disappointed parents testosterone blockers and for min max get a chastity belt off the black market epic phase clan pvp montage yeah, hit targets yeah. out of render distance my favorite thing about this yeah. class is the play style and before you ask yes it is a balanced class yeah. valkyrie you yeah. loved leroy jenkins from the classic mmo arc and liberty but how do we spice things up a little boobs i hate dueling valkyries not because of a skill issue on my part but because their block is broken using historical True. fighting moves yeah. like calling down holy swords from thin air and summoning an atomic bomb this class also adds an accessibility option to the game for all the six fingered players out there also give heals and stuff to your teammates perfect for ganking the only downside you have to be a ginger musa the salt farmer class i have never not had an experience with a musa that i didn't not like like cloud from final fantasy exiv he is the most overtuned character in the game but will constantly whine about absolutely anything if you see a musa in the wild take pity on them because they clearly have 
unresolved traumas. Guardian, made for players with a certain disposition. This class is the answer to the question. What if the Liver King could reproduce asexually? This class only has two skills. The one that one-shots everything with a magma pool, and the other one, Ninja. Do you like body pillows? How about IRL meetups where you'll meet people with top-tier social skills? Complaining about how the manga was better than the anime. Is your favorite movie genre the one about the life cycle of Octopi? Sekiro Stealth Mechanics. Grab a katana today. First hundred buyers get a copy of Spy X Family Evangelion. Nova. Only two types of people play this class. The cokeheads that think that chronic arthritis is a life goal. Those are rookie numbers in this racket. Who love the acclaimed MMO Forza Motorsports. And the ones who like nuns. The last class of note I will cover is the most important one. Ara, ara. Shy is the class for players who just want to life skill. The only class who can play music and emote and basically anything else cute. Playing shy may cause you to get ads for delicious cupcakes. Oh, I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake. Shies are also in high demand class. in endgame group content because of their group buffs that literally make you immortal. In my opinion, this is the best designed class because it teaches you the very unpredatory behavior of having 10 to 20 children on your speed dial. But the classes would be nothing if not for the underlying combat, which is one of the game's strengths. If there was one word I would use to describe it, satisfying. Feel the breeze on your ass crack as you dart in for a lightning quick kill satisfying. before you disappear in a flash. Or bring down a golden hammer like the final boss in Dank Souls. Everything about the style of the classes to the way they feel fits perfectly. And for all the min-maxers, there is also a skill curve. I'm about the net, oh no. Which True. skills flow into each other? Which ones buff damage or debuff enemies or make your PP bigger? Everything from the flash... Or, or just play the right class. The animations to the amazing sound design make this the standard for combat in MMOs. Tired of the endless grind for gear? Engage with some of the horizontal content. Horse breeding. Ever wanted to roleplay as Bob Baffert? Me either. Boss Blitz. The mandatory from software experience that all games are legally required to include. We could just extend the basic combat that the game is based on, as we've already established is pretty based. But what if we added yeah. some fun? Mechanics. My favorites are the one where you take a guaranteed almost one-shot attack, along with a massive speed debuff. The one where the boss has infinite eye frame like a Fortnite hacker and the one or or, or you just play the right class one where the boss runs away from you for two minutes while spawning infinite ads Dark Souls 2 style it's mechanics like these that make the bosses enjoyable and before the extra chromie homies say you can just look up a guide on how to fight them no I do not want to because as an American I do not consider education to be a virtue PvP I love it watch my epic PvP montage where I walk cinematically through town for half of it before epically owning PvE normies to the backdrop hey, of the hey, lead hey, class hey, 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 hey. That the cinematics is important in PVE guides, okay? You, you can't, you can't just. Uh, it it doesn't get done too much. Like most of the people, they just go into BA and they be like, oh, press uh, W shift R and B, and like, like totally boring, right? You you have to have the RP cinematic uh, walk to to make the video great. You, you can't can't do it in another way because PA haven't given us more options. They recently added an anonymous PvP server that, according to some, is killing PvP. I personally disagree with this take. I enjoy the anonymity this server provides as it allows me to cosplay as my favorite podcaster, Logan Paul, by running around ruining... No, the, the anonymous Arsha is 100% for PvE. It, it doesn't do anything for PvP. People that... You have more people grinding in anonymous Arsha because people don't know who they are. So when they run away, they don't feel anything. Like, like they feel no shame... Like they just run away, they log out, they change the swap server. I, I do the same thing. If if you play on Arsha, like the regular Arsha, you, you see who they are. So people don't want to play like they don't want to run away. So that that's the that's the that's actually like a hundred percent true. That that's why more people are grinding on anonymous Arsha than than not on the regular Arsha. It's because you can't see who it is people's day and suffering no consequences for my actions. There are PvP modes like 3 versus 3 arena and large-scale guild wars, but I'm more a fan of that guerrilla open world action. <laughs> now I know it's fashionable lately to complain about this game, but I genuinely think it's Dude, a Dude, that happened to game. me. I got stuck in it like uh, I was going to I was going to play a little bit and I I, I jump over the over like a it was like a house. And I got stuck in one of the the telephone poles. Uh, apparently BDO has telephone poles, but but yeah, I got stuck in it. 
game. I enjoy most of the content I have at my hands, and if there's something I don't like, I just don't do it. The dungeons and world bosses are examples of content that a lot of people enjoy doing. I think they're lame as hell, but instead yeah, of whining too. about how bad they are, I just don't do them. That's by far the best feature yeah. this game has. The yeah, freedom to, for the most part, do whatever tickles your fancy. You want to be a hardcore gear lord who grinds every waking hour? Go for it. You want to be yeah. an environmentalist and save endangered species? Yeah. Okay, nerd. Or spend hundreds of hours dyeing your character's outfit. Knock yourself out. Just True. make sure your jizz rag is near you, freak. No funny business. I think the game would be drastically improved if you cut down questing by 98%. I do think discovering the massive open <laughs> world for the first time is one of the highs a new player will have. But I don't see why you have to do hundreds of throwaway quests for every one of the 10 regions in the game. Just point everyone starting out to the homeless guy here and have him send you to the next mayor. Rinse and repeat. Blah, blah, big boss. Get gear. Blah, blah, cutscene. Blah, blah, this NPC is a lore nerd if you want to learn more. So there's a fun mechanic where if you die to a mob, you have a chance of losing a type of gear called crystals. And yep. some of these crystals can cost you up to five hours of grinding to replace. Yeah. Now some might say, just grind at safe spots where you have no chance of dying. You actually want to try a spot a little risky because orcs just ain't cutting it. Sucks for you. And this is clearly an opinion to have. But sometimes the server does this amazing thing where it just stops running. Yeah, that's cool. But don't worry, you can get back a total of three crystals per year. Let me help you out here, PA. Remove crystal loss. You're welcome. All in all, I'd rate this game a United States out of America. I love capitalism. You're a broke boy, just say so. <laughs> Wait, how, how big of a number is that? I, I gotta say, very true. Um, much, many things in, the, in, the, in this video is very true. Go, go follow. Subscribe. Uh, that was a pretty good video. Oh. Huh.